My name is Mariam Laoshi. I'm a youth activist and today I'm taking you around my city, Abuja. Nigeria's capital Abuja is located in the center of the country and is one of the fastest growing cities in the world. It was created in the 1980s to decongest and replace Lagos as the capital, a symbolic move to allow political participation from both the north and south of Nigeria. Um, to me, Abuja is a center of unity because walking down a busy road like this one at Banex Junction means you don't know who you're bumping into. There are people from different places in the country. Everybody um, managed to move here after this place was made the capital. So it's like a convergence of different Nigerians. As the political center, Abuja regularly witnesses demonstrations. In 2017, young people went to the streets to demand a reduction in the age limit required to run for political office. Their hashtag not too young to run went viral. As a member of the strategy team, Miriam Loshi played a key role in the movement. The activists were successful. In May 2018, President Muhammadu Buhari signed the bill into law. We are currently in the gallery for the House of Representatives at the National Assembly in Abuja. This is a key place um, in the Not Too Young to Run movement because here we had over two thirds of the members of the House of Representatives vote yes to the Not Too Young to Run law. We had marched here to the National Assembly on more than one occasion and so we had immense support from the National Assembly and this is where they voted for it. Abuja is not only a countrywide political center, the city also proudly refers to itself as center of unity. It's a cultural melting pot, but the city also has its own local problems. This is the expensive part of town in Ose too, and most people can't afford to live here and they live in other settlements in other parts of town. So come on, I'll show you. The 2.7 million metropolis is also known as the city of money. The Porsche Center belongs to Abuja's rich and famous. A simple one-bedroom apartment costs around 1,200 euros. For most Nigerians, that's simply not an option. That's why many people live in the outskirts of town. We are in a kick in now in Gwarimpa, one of the detached settlements in Abuja. And as you can see, it's a bit more crowded. It looks a bit different from uh, the center of the city. These KKs are not actually allowed in the center of the city to avoid the crowdedness. Motorbikes and motor rickshaws, or so-called kikis, simply don't suit the desired cityscape. That's why they are banned. What the urban master plan does entail is parks. The city has several parks and green spots. This is where Nigerians come to chill, hang out with friends and have picnics, or even beauty treatments. Um, I'm at Millennium Park. I'm getting my henna done today. It's called Lale in Hausa language. It's a traditional culture for wedding and just fashion. So I've shown you my city, Abuja, today. Thank you for coming with me. I hope that one day you'll visit us here. Goodbye.